The story I'm going to tell you today is about when I took an Indian guru um, with long flowing beard and, and long Indian robes into Everton and he spoke to the, the players before we had an important game. The reason why uh, the entire world sits up and watches World Cup football is uh, the intensity of involvement that people are playing a game just kicking a ball around but with such skill and such involvement like it's the last thing they're going to do in their life. And now it makes half the world sit up and watch this. I felt there was something missing in my life, so I looked online and I found a guru speaking the next day in Nottingham. I live in Manchester. So I called my dad, who was living in Ipswich, and said, will you meet me in Nottingham? And we get there. We're the only people there and they knew nothing about me. I hadn't contacted them, I just turned up out of the blue with my dad. And by the time the guy comes on, the room is full of Indian people. There's 300, 400 Indians and me and my dad. And the guru, his name's Sadguru. He's speaking about searching for happiness on the outside, you know, looking. You have one house, you want a bigger house, a new car. And he said that what you're looking for is within and you need to go on that journey within and he looked me in the eye and he said what you're looking for you're not going to find that in Manchester I was floored by this because he he knew nothing about me I got shivers up my spine and I knew that there was something special about this guy there is a gadget far more interesting than your phone that's called the human mechanism I actually asked David Moyes at the time whether I could bring him in to speak to the team. And I'm thinking, what have I done here? It's the Saturday night before we play Liverpool at home on the Sunday, the biggest game of the season. And I've got this Indian guy to come in and speak about philosophy to the players. And at that point, if I could have, if I could have stopped it, I would have. But it was too far down the line. So I can start to feel anxiety in my body, I'm sweating, I'm, I'm panicking, he's coming now, the Indian. And he turns up and immediately I start to feel instant relaxation and instant peace. And that was really interesting because the, the impact that he had on me was just amazing. So we go to the team hotel and this Indian guy is, has created a lot of interest as you can imagine. Uh, they, they, the players thought it was probably just one of Danny's wacky things and he comes and speaks to the team and within a few minutes you could see the impact that he had on the team. It was the same impact that his presence had on me. The, the team just started to relax deeply and the sense in the room was so different. So after, I, I still wasn't sure of, of how it was taken, so I spoke to a few of the senior players. They got the same sense that I did. It was a deep relaxation and the, a kind of letting go of any ideas that they had about what they needed to do in the game. The next day, I sensed the team before the game w were different. Normally it would be kind of a high energy, and a, a need to do, a need to be aggressive. And there was something different. There was, a, there was an underlying confidence and calmness about them. And they went out and within 10 minutes it was 2-0, won the game 2-0. And came into the dressing room after the game and the whole team's singing Sad Guru, Sad Guru, Sad Guru. <laughs> Which I don't think many people would imagine happening after a Premier League game. So from my perspective there's so much to learn about this. One of the aspects is the fact that this man had such presence. He was able to communicate that to the players without words. And this presence was transferred into their, the way they were. And they were just able to let go. Rather than being active, they let go into who they were and had a stronger confidence in who they were. And that, that was expressed in the game. Obviously, the energy of the game had certain effects on them. But there was just this deep, 
deep confidence and it goes back to his message when he said you won't find that in Manchester you'll find that inside and with his help I found it and temporarily at least the players found it on that day.